。接着为大家介绍一部 HBO 自己所拍的一个纪录片。那么这个纪录片呢，是一个原创型的纪录片，某一个程度在探讨美国的一个新的社会现象。这部影片叫做《非赢不可》啊。那它在下礼拜六 ，HBO 的 Signature， 也就是它 Signature 频道里头，晚上十点钟播出。它的原英文名称叫《State of Play》（Traffic Kids）。在东方的社会里头，每一个父母亲就是逼迫孩子，你把书读好，进最好的大学，进最好的科系。而在美国呢？由于资本主义商业化的推波助澜，现在对他们而言，什么人最能够出头天？在美国，一个就是打运动的篮球或是相关的球赛，另外一个呢，就是你当然去做好莱坞的演艺明星。可是后者需要更多的天分，或是外表的一些条件。而前者现在是非常多的父母亲，一旦发现他的孩子有篮球的天分，有比如说打什么橄榄球的天分，哪一种类型的球类的天分的时候，他对他的这种全面的压力，非赢不可的压力，事实上跟东方社会或是中国人社会、台湾人社会里头要他的孩子非考第一名不可，这种压力是一样的。很多人其实他本来打球是他的天分，是他的乐趣。可是呢，在资本主义的推波之下，因为这是一个最容易赚钱、最容易出人头地的行业，这些运动员内心可以说非常的焦脆。我们来看 HBO 的这个原创性纪录片。As a parent, you need to be realistic in your beliefs about your child. Our plan as a family for Amari is simply to get her to the LPJ tour.、You、gotta be out here trying to win. That was a going over. I'm like, man, it's bullshit. God damn it! Stupid bitch. Stupid. 传统的东方社会万般皆下品，唯有读书高。父母只严格要求子女们专心学业，但对不少美国家庭来说，由于对体育的狂热，或者被视为出人头地的捷径，让原本单纯的运动变成资本主义商品巨轮下的重要引擎，牵动着无数观众的心情，带动大量金钱的运转。许多青少年因此肩负父母亲无止境的压力，从小不断训练比赛，虎爸虎妈们张牙舞爪，只许成功不许失败，孩子们却个个遍体鳞伤。I was sticking glutamine and everything, and creatine and everything. I was hoping maybe we can bop six three six four with a little this, a little that. Short, up through your nose, man. Up through your nose. There you go. He's been real lucky. Dunk the tennis ball again. Him growing up, living through the kid vicariously. The money spent, it was unlimited. I, I'd say two Lamborghinis easily. That was nice. 父母亲把所有期待和希望，以及大把的钞票压住子女身上，热切的期盼投资回收，等待着功成名就。So to you, your plan defense spread to you as a run. No. Really? That's what you saw in the film yesterday. Think so. Why would he do that? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, pull your head out of your ass, dude. Seriously. It's simple. We just went over this yesterday. Get ready to play. Get in a stance. Don't that you look like you're taking a shit? Just bend over. That's all you got to do. I snap the ball. I get it. He's deep. What are you thinking? Speed option or dive? No. That's why I asked you if you look confused. You got that stupid daze in your eyes again. HBO 体育频道的纪录片《非赢不可》。摄影机写实的刻画下，美国父母期望子女们未来能登上体坛超级巨星的故事。大人们严厉的教育方式，几乎把每个小孩都给吓坏、逼疯了。Thing on their shirt. They're sponsored by McDonald's, dude. That's the difference. They're sponsored and they get their ass whooped. I can't do that in America, man. You go to jail for that. Too far. Too far. 
That's the story of our lives, too far. Damn it. Damn it. Don't walk on it, man. Don't on it. Dang it. Okay, okay, I'll push the cart, man. Move out of the way. Mo Amari! Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. If you embarrass me like that again in front of all these people, I'm gonna smack you in your mouth. When I say let go, that means let go one time. You understand me? You understand me? Yes! I texted him today. Let's go to the line and shoot free throws. So all I asked him to do today, let's shoot free throws. I'm with my friends. I'm with my friends. This is on him. The always is not good. Oh, 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 oh. Now, God Almighty, now. Derek, you gotta shoot! You just wanna come on! Oh god, man! Now you're handing away games, man. Right now, you're handing away free throws, man. They're free, free throws. They're free throws. If you hit the two free throws, you win the game. Dang it, Amari. Dog on it, man. Dog on it. Give it here. There's gonna be another freaking bogey for you. God damn it, just hit the ball close to the hole. Why do you do that? I'm gonna have this problem if you just hit the ball straight. Stop hitting the damn thing right and left. Come here. It's over. It's over. I'm done. I'm done. Give me the clap. It, it's over. I'm done. What the heck was that? It was nothing like your practice swing at all. At all. I don't know what the heck that was. You just don't go play no video game. You asked me. Do you understand the difference between a statement and a question? You asked me. Why do you I treat me like I'm retarded? Because you're acting like you're retarded. I'm not retarded. You're not retarded. You don't know the difference between a question. I don't know. What do you want to do? Get out the car and do no, what? I don't want to talk about this. What does that mean? I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to be in the car right now. I don't care. You don't want to do a lot of things that I make you do. What you're doing is teaching him fear. He's afraid of you. Good. That's all it is. Good. He's afraid of you Good. because of how you treat him. How in the hell, if you treat him like that, how the hell is he supposed to have respect and confidence? You really think, you really, really think that someone's going to respect you? You earn your respect. Your time that you had when he was a baby, growing up to now, okay, those times are over. I would prefer that you would not tell me that I'm stopping his confidence because I'm actually giving him confidence. This is what has to be done for him to go out there. I think it comes from a position where there's a lot of good things about you that I believe in, and here's something that I can help you get better at. And that's much easier for an athlete, a young person to take than you're doing this, 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 and this wrong, which they start to think, well, there's obviously something wrong with me. I've learned that a lot of kids don't respond well if you yell at them and make them feel really bad. I resent my dad as of right now. I guess our story is an example. I mean, I moved away from my dad when I had the chance. And I mean, I'm sure parents aren't going to want that. I mean, every parent wants a relationship with their kid.